Hello everyone. Okay, uh, to install our DevStack OpenStack, which will be our cloud OpenStack solution at home, uh, we need uh, to install, uh, first of all, uh, uh, something to, to run our VM. Uh, we have two uh, products that we can install in our laptop or our PC or our server. Uh, we can install uh, VirtualBox or uh, VMware Workstation. Personally, I prefer VMware Workstation and uh, this video will be done via VMware Workstation. Then the first thing to do is to download the uh, VMware Workstation from uh, the VMware website to install it in your laptop or your PC. And after that, uh, we will start uh, to uh, create our virtual machine, which will uh, be the machine for our OpenStack. Okay, let's begin. Uh, first thing to do, of course, after running our VMware workstation, we will, uh, of course, uh, create a new virtual machine. We will click on create new virtual machine, and after that, uh, we will give uh, it uh, the installer disk image. In our case here, we will use the Ubuntu 18 version desktop, 64 bits. Okay, and after that, uh, we will click next. Then uh, you are uh, you are called to to put your full name here and the username to be used in uh, uh, Ubuntu uh, system. Uh, in my case, I put the username is user and uh, the password and confirm your password. Uh, keep in mind that this password and this username is for uh, Ubuntu uh, virtual machine. Okay. After that, you will give the virtual machine a name. You can choose any name, of course. And then the location in your uh, PC or your laptop. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Next, and uh, we will give uh, the maximum disk size. In my case, I choose 40. Uh, then uh, we will store the virtual disk as a single file because it is better uh, in point of view of performance. Uh, then we will give our VM 4 gigabyte. If in your case you can, uh, for example, give it more, it will be uh, uh, better, okay? And uh, two virtual CPU, it's enough. Then we click finish. And now we will wait some seconds and then we will start the installation of our Ubuntu system. Okay, 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 and we are waiting. Then we will start our uh, installation. Uh, keep in mind that we have uh, configured our username and the password. This username and password will be after that used to uh, access your Ubuntu virtual machine. Okay, uh, we are waiting now to start our virtual machine. Okay, installation. It will uh, uh, take some five or six minutes. Uh, after that, your virtual machine will start uh, and you can access your virtual machine. Let's go to the, the final state of the installation. Okay, now we are in the final state of uh, our Ubuntu installation. Restoring previously installed package, copying, reticulating splines, and here we are. Now our virtual machine is ready and it will be used to store our OpenStack solution, which is the DevStack product. Okay. Now we are, will access our machine. We will use our username and password to access our virtual machine. Okay, good. 
and after that uh, let's go to the OpenStack official documentation where we will uh, find how to install DevStack. This is the quick start and here we have all the commands to execute in our Ubuntu virtual machine to install our DevStack uh, solution. Okay, 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 okay. Now let's open uh, uh, terminal to execute commands. Okay, we will choose terminal. Oh, sorry, I'm using the Azerty keyboard, that's why. Okay, fine. Now, the first command to execute will be uh, to verify if there is any updates uh, that we can add to our uh, Ubuntu system. sudo apt-get update and we will give him the password. In my case, I choose a simple password, which is root123. Okay, now we will begin our uh, DevStack installation and we will follow the guide uh, of the OpenStack documentation. The first thing to do is to add a user and this user is stack. Okay, then we will execute this command sudo user add. After that, we will give uh, uh, privileges to our new user, which is stack, okay? Because it will need some root privileges to execute some commands. And after that, we will switch to our new user, okay? Sudo su stack. And now we are using the new user, which is stack. After that, we will download dev stack by executing the command git clone and we will give it the path of uh, the devstack installation package in our case here we should first of all install uh, the package git that's why we will execute sudo apt install git okay fine yes okay now we are installing git and after that we will be able to execute our command let's wait for the installation okay 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 mm -mm -mm. fine now we can execute our command to download our uh, dev stack package now he is downloading the dev stack package from the official site okay it will take take some uh, time of course it depends of your internet speed okay and finally we are here and we have downloaded the dev stack now we will uh, change our uh, uh, location and we will uh, work under the dev stack folder okay which is the new folder uh, in our system then we will create a file which is local.conf uh, in my case i prefer using uh, vim of course that's why uh, we should install it before that's why i installed it then i will use vim to create the new uh, file which is local.conf Okay, we will copy all the script and paste. In fact, these are some passwords for, for some services, which are services located in OpenStack. We have the password for the admin, for the database, and for the rabbit, and for the service. Uh, of course, uh, uh, the best thing is to give a, a very... Um, uh, very uh, powerful password uh, but as we are here uh, working in a lab or in a test environment I give the root 1 to 3 and uh, of course here it's R00T okay fine now we can uh, start our installation 
Of course, this file local uh, dot uh, conf is not uh, necessary because if we don't uh, uh, create this file in the installation after that, it will uh, demand from us uh, to create the passwords. Okay, that's fine, and I will show you how. Okay. Now we begin the installation. It will took some time, perhaps from 15 to 30 minutes. It, okay. Now it is cloning uh, the files uh, to our virtual machine. It will take some time, of course. And be careful, sometimes uh, some error will uh, happen. And I will show you how to troubleshoot these uh, issues and uh, what are the commands to execute um, to bypass these uh, errors. Okay, the first error that can be uh, happen is this. In fact, this is an error due to uh, uh, privileges needed for our user and you will execute the command sudo shown one r stack stack opt stack okay and after that we will reinstall again our uh, system fine another error can be happen which is linked to simple json package in this case you should execute the command uh, this command which will sudo up push python3 simple json and uh, after that uh, we will execute again the install uh, of stack okay 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 another error which can be happen it is due to uh, xdg system type and to bypass this error we must uh, uh, export this uh, key okay that's why we will uh, execute the command export xdg session type wayland okay we will type this command export and we will put the key which is xdg session type and we will give it the value which is wayland okay after that, we will execute again our uh, installation script. And of course, it will took some time, as I told you. After that, you will have your OpenStack installed. And it will give you all the links to access the dashboard and the keystone. The keystone is the identity dashboard from which you can uh, add users and roles okay uh, here we are we are in the final steps we will wait some seconds okay here we are we have the host IP address which is the IP address of your virtual machine and the horizon which is the dashboard and the keystone now we will try to access our OpenStack dashboard by uh, copying this link to our uh, from our laptop we can uh, of course access to our OpenStack dashboard okay now we are accessing our OpenStack dashboard here we are this is the open stack we will put admin and we will put the password which we have configured before okay and now we will connect to our open stack here in my case it is in french because my laptop is in french okay and here we are uh, as i told you it's in uh, french language but I will switch after some seconds. Okay, I will switch to to the English language. One moment. Okay, 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 okay. This is some errors. 
no problem it's a lab or a test environment let's go to change the language okay english and now our dashboard will be in english of course you can choose any language now we will discover our dashboard our openstack dashboard here we have the overview you can see uh, the different uh, uh, resources and uh, let's go for example to uh, to instances where our vm are to image to see if there is image yeah by default uh, an image which is zeros will be created and uh, we can of course uh, for example test here we will create a vm and we will use this image this is for example the test vm and uh, the source uh, okay nova we will uh, the source is our image we have only one image in our system which is here by default we will use this image uh, create new volume will be put no and we will choose a flavor uh, we will choose uh, for example m1 tiny flavor okay and we will launch our installation after that here is our vm we will wait for our vm to change the status to running or active okay it's building now okay now it's active let's try to access to our new virtual machine let's choose console okay now we will try to access to our vm fine okay we will open it in a new window and let's wait some seconds it is slow because of uh, of course the resources given to the vm which are uh, not very performant 4 giga ram it's not uh, enough to run uh, an open stack platform okay uh, which will be for example very performant but uh, the idea here is to give you uh, an idea about uh, how to install OpenStack and uh, after the installation to give you an overview about the dashboard of an OpenStack and finally here you have your cloud environment installed at home at your laptop or at your PC of course you can if you want for example buy a server for example and um, uh, it will be for example a very performant server where you will install your OpenStack and why not using uh, this cloud or this private cloud to uh, create your virtual machines uh, or to create uh, some uh, lab environment uh, which will be used after that in your preparation for any uh, certification or any other course okay thank you for uh, listening uh, this is all for this section. Uh, see you in the next video.